Number 24, Cincinnati is headed to Orlando, place number 11, UCF, and it's pretty much the ACC AAC East Championship. Uh, two different type of teams. You've got Cincinnati, Luke Fickle, kind of playing tough. Des Desmond Ritter's a quarterback from Louisville, Kentucky, is where he grew up. But you know what? He's making things happen, and 63% passer 15 touchdowns this year five interceptions that's it but their defense is playing tough defense whereas UCF you know, I think they have pretty good defense but their offense has athletes everywhere McKenzie Milton distributes the ball or he just keeps it himself and they keep winning Mark who do you see winning this AAC East down there in Orlando I think it's going to be a tough game I think it's going to go to right down the wire it's not going to be a high scoring affair because both both defenses have played such a high level all season long I think the key in this game is going to be the offensive line for UCF and playing at home. If you look at this offensive line under Mackenzie Milton, they've only given up six sacks the entire season. I'm taking UCF 16, uh, 23 to 16. Well, I have to go with UCF because, number one, they beat Pitt 45 to 14. All right. That but was the early. Main, the amazing <laughs> thing about UCF, they play eight home games. They very seldom go on the road. They're an outstanding football team. And Luke Fickle, he's a guy that stood in as an interim coach, did not have great success at Ohio State to one year. He ended up being on Urban Meyer staff. Last year, they had a disastrous year, his first year since then. Congratulations to him. He's done a tremendous job. Nevertheless, UCF prevailed 35-27. I'm losing a little bit of enthusiasm about UCF because of their defense. Their defense got to start playing better like they did earlier in the year. Well, as we know, Cincinnati shut out Navy. UCF gave up 24.